Robert Cabot Bobby Sherman, Jr., is an American singer, actor and occasional songwriter, who became a popular teen idol in the late 1960s and early 1970s. He graduated in 1961 from Birmingham High School in Van Nuys, California. Sherman attended Pierce College in Woodland Hills, California. Career as performer, Bobby's interest in music began at age 11 when he learned to play the trumpet. He eventually progressed to playing 16 musical instruments. At Birmingham High School Bobby played football, joined a dance band, and discovered his love for singing. From the time he was in high school, Bobby knew that he wanted to be some type of performer, but wasn't sure how to make it happen. In 1962 Sal Mineo took Sherman under his wing and wrote two songs for him as well as arranging for Sherman to record the songs, then in 1964 when Sherman was asked by Mineo to sing with his old band at a Hollywood party he made such an impression at that party he landed an agent and eventually a part on the ABC television show Shindig. As a regular cast member house singer, the show ran for two years, from 1964 to 1966. During that time Bobby made several records with Decca and another smaller label, and landed in all the teen magazines, but it did not seem to catapult his career. Sherman's luck changed drastically early in 1968 when, out of hundreds of actors, he was cast in the role as the bashful, stammering logger, Jeremy Bolt, in the television series Here Come the Brides, with Bridget Haney as his romantic interest, Candy Pruitt. The cast included Robert Brown, David Soule, and Joan Blondell. Sherman managed to become the breakout star of the show as well as a beloved teen idol worldwide. Sherman also appeared on an episode of The Monkees entitled Monkees at the Movies, playing a pompous surfer singer named Frankie Catalina in the vein of Frankie Avalon, performing the song The New Girl in School. Sherman released 107 songs, 23 singles and 10 albums between 1962 to 1976. In his recording career he earned seven gold singles, one platinum single, and five gold albums. He had a career total of seven top 40 hits. In 1969, his first gold single, Little Woman, became popular, peaking at number three on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and spending nine weeks in the top 20. It sold over one million copies, and was awarded a gold disc by the RIAA. In October 1969, his other hits were Julie, Do You Love Me, Easy Come, Easy Go, Jennifer, La, 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 and The Drum. Some of these songs were produced by Jackie Mills, a Hollywood record producer, who also produced the Brady Bunch Kids. In Canada Hey Mr. Sun reached number 19, Cried Like a Baby reached number 10, and Waiting at the Bus Stop reached number 31. La, 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 Easy Come, Easy Go, and Julie. Do You Love Me all sold in excess of a million copies and garnered further gold discs for Sherman. Julie, Do You Love Me was Sherman's sole excursion in the UK singles chart, where it peaked at number 28 in November 1970. The song competed there for chart space with White Plains cover version, which eventually placed higher at number 8. Sherman toured extensively through the United States and the world in support of his many records and albums. He gave many concerts to sell out crowds of mostly screaming young women from the late 1960s to the mid-1970s. The screaming by the young women was so loud that Sherman to this day has experienced hearing loss. Bobby was a frequent guest on American television shows American Bandstand and Where the Action Is. He also made local and regional TV performances. A March 1971 episode of The Partridge Family featured Sherman, serving as a backdoor pilot for the ABC TV series Getting Together which aired starting in September 1971. The show competed with CBS's All in the Family on Saturday nights and was cancelled after 14 episodes. The theme song, Getting Together by Helen Miller and Roger Atkins, should not be confused with the Richie Cordell tune by Tommy James and the Shondles which hit the top 20 in 1967. Sherman also had a self-titled TV special that aired June 4, 1971. Sherman has been a guest star on television series such as The Mod Squad, Ellery Queen, Murder She Wrote and Frasier. He has also been a guest on The Ed Sullivan Show, American Bandstand, The Sonny and Cher Comedy Hour, 
KTLA Morning News, Visiting with Hellhauser on PBS, Good Day LA, The Rosie O'Donnell Show, Good Morning America, and The Tonight Show with both Johnny Carson and later with Jay Leno. He was featured on 20 20, VH1, Entertainment Tonight, and Extra, among other television shows. Sherman was a regular cast member on the television show Sanchez of Bel Air in 1986. In 1998, after a 25 year absence, eager fans flocked to see him in concert as part of the Teen Idol tour with Peter No One and Davy Jones. Fellow Monkees member, Mickey Dolenz replaced Davy Jones on the tour in 1999. Bobby did his last concert as a solo performer in Lincoln, Rhode Island on August 25, 2001. Bobby has retired from public life, but still does corporate events occasionally as well as his ongoing charities. Sherman was ranked number 8 in TV Guide Euro Euro Show Euro S list of TV's 25 Greatest Teen Idols. Due to Sherman's recording company Metro Media having gone out of business in 1986, he never officially received his platinum record for Julie, Do You Love Me? Sherman finally received his much-delayed platinum record plaque in summer 2010. The first season of Sherman's show Here Come the Brides was released on DVD by Sony Pictures on May 16, 2006. Season 2 was released on February 28, 2012. Antenna TV started airing both seasons of Here Come the Brides on Sundays, beginning in early 2011, as part of their station launch. Discography equals singles equals 1962 Judy you'll never know slash the telegram 1964 I want to hear it from her slash nobody's sweetheart 1964 you make me happy slash man overboard 1965 it hurts me slash give me your word 1965 hey little girl slash well all right 1965 anything your little heart desires slash goody gallum shas 1965 happiness is slash can't get used to losing you 1967 Cold Girl Slash Think of Rain, 1969 Judy, You'll Never Know Slash The Telegram. 1969 Little Woman Slash One Too Many Mornings, Pop Number no. 3, 1969 La 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 Slash Time, Pop Number no. 9, Adult Contemporary Number no. 14, 1970 Easy Come, Easy Go Slash Sounds Along the Way, Pop Number no. 9, Adult Contemporary Number no. 2, 1970 Hey, Mr. Sun slash Two Blind Minds, Pop Number no. 24, Adult Contemporary Number no. 3, 1970 Julie, Do You Love Me slash Spend Some Time Lovin' Me, Pop Number no. 5, Adult Contemporary Number no. 2, 1971 Going Home slash Loves What You're Getting for Christmas, 1971 Cried Like A Baby slash Is Anybody There, Pop Number no. 16, Adult Contemporary Number no. 9, 1971 The Drum slash Free to Roam Now, Pop number no. 29, Adult Contemporary number no. 2, 1971 Waiting at the Bus Stop slash Runaway, Pop number no. 54, 1971 Jennifer slash Getting Together, Pop number no. 60, Adult Contemporary number no. 9, 1972 Together Again slash Picture a Little Girl, Pop number no. 91, 1972 I Don't Believe in Magic slash Just a Little While Longer, 1972 Early in the Morning slash Unborn Lull Baby, Pop number 113, 1974 Mr. Success slash Runaway, 1975 Our Last Song Together slash Sunshine Rose, Adult Contemporary number 34. Equals Original LPs equals, 1969 Bobby Sherman, Pop number 11, Gold Album, 1970 Here Comes Bobby, Pop number 10, Gold Album, 1970 With Love, Bobby, Pop number 20, Gold Album, 1970 Christmas Album, 1971 Portrait of Bobby, Pop No. 48, 1971 Getting Together, Pop No. 71, 1972 Just For You, Note, Metro Media released two versions of Christmas Album, one contained Prologue. The other replaced it with Going Home, rest of LP is identical. Equals Compilation LPs equals, 1971 Bobby Bobby Bobby, 1972 Bobby Sherman's Greatest Hits, Pop No. 83, 1972 Everything You Always Wanted to Know About Bobby Sherman, 1976 Remembering You. Equals CDs equals, 1990 What Came Before, 
1991 The Very Best of Bobby Sherman, 1992 Christmas Album, 1995 All-Time Greatest Hits, 1995 Bobby Sherman, 1995 Here Comes Bobby, 1995 With Love, Bobby, 1995 Portrait of Bobby, 1995 Getting Together, 1999 My Christmas Wish, 2000 The Very Best of Bobby Sherman, 2001 Here Comes Bobby Slash With Love, Bobby, 2001 Bobby Sherman Slash Portrait of Bobby, 2008 Just For You. Equals songs included on various artists' compilation CDs equals, 1993 Yesterday's Heroes, Teen Idols of the 70s, 1994 Have a Nice Christmas, Christmas in the 70s, 1994 Tube Tunes Volume 1, The 70s, 1996 Bubblegum Classics, Volume 3, 1992 TV Family Christmas. Selected Filmography, Appearances, Unless Otherwise Noted, Wild in the Streets, 1968 Skyway to Death, 1974 Television Movie, The Day the Earth Moved, 1974, He Is My Brother, 1975, The Gossip Columnist, 1980, Get Crazy, 1981, The Video Game Challenge, 1983, then Blue Line, 1995. Post-entertainment career, when Sherman guest starred on an episode of the Jack Webb television series Emergency. He found a new calling that focused more on his personal life, and he eventually left the public spotlight and became an emergency medical technician. He soon volunteered with the Los Angeles Police Department, working with paramedics, and giving CPR and first aid classes. Sherman officially became a technical reserve police officer with the Los Angeles Police Department in the 1990s, a position he still holds today. Sherman was later promoted to captain status in the Los Angeles Police Department. For over a decade he has served as a medical training officer at the Los Angeles Police Academy, instructing thousands of police officers in first aid and CPR. He was named Lapda Euro Unregistered Trademark S Reserve Officer of the Year in 1999. Sherman also became a reserve deputy sheriff in 1999 with the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department continuing his CPR emergency training of new deputy hires. Sherman retired from the Sheriff's Department in 2010, but continues with the LAPD. According to Sherman, I've been bestowed a mountain of blessings. I felt a need to start giving back. The entertainer subsequently received several awards for his humanitarian efforts. Sherman founded the Bobby Sherman Volunteer and Foundation. His organization coordinates medical services at many community and charity events in Southern California. Sherman also founded the Bridget and Bobby Sherman Children's Foundation. BBSC Foundation's mission is to provide motivated students in Ghana with a high-quality education and music program, thus giving them the tools they need to pursue higher education and become successful contributing adults. BBSC Foundation has headquarters in Los Angeles and operates in the cities of Ada and Accra, Ghana. BBSCF supports primary and secondary school tuition and fee assistance, tutoring and enrichment activities, and music lessons focusing on indigenous and other world music. Sherman built a one-fifth scale model of Disneyland's Main Street, made entirely by hand in his yard at his home. His replica of Disney's Main Street has been featured on many television shows and news programs. Books Bobby Sherman co wrote his nationally published best selling autobiography with Denner Hill, Still Remembering You, in 1996. Though he is mentioned, Sherman did not participate in Jonathan Etter's 2009 nostalgic paperback Gangway Lord, Here Come the Bride's Book. Sherman is extensively discussed and remembered in Michael Gregg McCord's 2010 biography Salmoneo, a biography. In 2011 James Franco announced he would direct and co-star in a film based on the Salmoneo biography. Personal Life Sherman was born to Robert Cabot Sherman Essa and Juanita Nita Sherman in Santa Monica, California. He grew up in Van News, California along with his sister Darlene. Sherman later married Patty Carnell from 1971 to 1979. The couple divorced. They had two sons, Christopher and Tyler, born in the early 1970s. Both of his sons are married and have children of their own, 
making Sherman a grandfather of six. Sherman is remarried and lives in the Los Angeles area. References in popular culture, Sherman was mentioned in the Simpsons episode Brother from the Same Planet. Marge Simpson remembered how she had a crush on him. In another episode, Lisa the Treehugger, Homer compared Jesse's non-threatening good looks to Sherman. In an episode of The Critic, Eyes on the Prize, a lady asks Jay to sing the theme from Here Come the Brides and Jay's producer says, Wait a minute, you think he's Bobby Sherman? Sherman was also mentioned in the Nanny episode My Fair Nanny. While Fran was advising Maggie on how to increase her popularity in high school, Fran told her to discuss the three universal topics, boys, clothes, and Bobby Sherman. When Maggie asked who Sherman is, Fran told her to use Marky Mark, even though he doesn't have half the talent of Bobby. Sherman also appeared as himself in one episode of Frasier. In the 1999 film Dick, set in 1972, a teen magazine runs a contest to win a date with Sherman, with an entry deadline of midnight on June 18, attracting the interest of two teenage girls. Late on the night of June 17, they wander around the apartment complex where one of them lives to mail in their entry before it was too late, and in the process, they encounter other people sneaking around the complex, and end up playing a major role in the Watergate scandal. The phrase peace, love, and Bobby Sherman became a popular saying in the 1960s and 1970s. On Frank Zappa's Fillmore East, June 1971 album, Vocalists Howard Kalin and Mark Volman play a rock star and a groupie in dialogue between songs. At one point, Volman asks, gushingly, Do you know Bobby Sherman? In Nickelodeon's series Big Time Rush, in the episode contest, Sherman was mentioned by an old woman telling Logan, You're cute, but you're no Bobby Sherman. In the 2012 film Dark Shadows, the character Carolyn Stoddard is seen reading a teen magazine. Circa 1972, featuring a full back cover of Bobby Sherman. In their 2012 concert tour An Evening with the Monkees, Michael Nesmith and Mickey Dolenz did, one, a comedy routine introducing the song Daily Nightly. Since this was one of the first pop songs to use a Moog synthesizer, the routine centered around Nesmith seeking to find one for the show. It was revealed that he was not able to get an actual Moog, but instead brought a picture of one which he displayed and stated I think it's Bobby Sherman's Moog. Bobby was mentioned in the ABC series Malibu Country by Reba McIntyre in the March 1, 2013 episode titled Oh Brother. Reba's mom Lily May is cooking up a batch of her famous Barbeck sauce and Reba says I used to dream about this sauce. Well, that and Bobby Sherman. On the July 3, 2013 episode of Hot in Cleveland, Valerie Bertinelli references Bobby Sherman as her first love. References External links Official website, Bobby Sherman at the Internet Movie Database, Guinea's World of Peace, Love and Bobby Sherman, Fan Site, Whatever Happened to, Bobby Sherman